uh, the French papers. Uh, they're just reacting very factually for now. I pulled out, first of all, uh, an article from Le Monde, uh, which pays tribute to uh, Christophe de Margerie, a strategic boss and a very colorful, larger-than-life character. And Le Monde comes back on his very successful career. They've actually pulled out a biography that they wrote back in 2010 when he became the general director of Total. Now, uh, he was the CEO of France's, uh, well, one of France's richest and biggest companies, but he was a man of very many paradoxes, according uh, to Le Monde. On the one hand, he was known for his warmth, his good nature. He was quite a jovial man, uh, known as Big Mustache amongst his <laughs> colleagues. But also, Le Monde says, he was known for being very tough uh, and inflexible when it came to business. Uh, and Le Monde says that it's thanks to him if Total is among the world's 20 top companies today. He was uh, behind, he led the company uh, to invest in Venezuela, in Canada, in the Gulf states, but especially he started paving the way for the company's post-petrol future. Okay, sad loss uh, for France there. Well, paper is also focusing on joint Franco-German plan to boost investment and growth. That's right. Uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel is on the front page of Libération today. They talk about Merkel's Merkel lends a helping hand because of pressure from France, but especially because Germany is facing the threat of recession. Well, Liberation is quite happy with the fact that Germany is considering giving a little leeway on its obsession with uh, austerity, as Liberation calls it. Yesterday, finance ministers from France and Germany made a joint promise to put in place a program to boost investment for growth. And, and Liberation really applauds this mini pact. In its editorial, it says it's too early to pop the champagne, but it's really a turning point. You can see that word there, virage. That means it's, it's a turning point. Uh, Germany is coming to its senses, according to Liberation. It's the first good news coming from the European Union that we've heard in a long time. Not all the papers are <laughs> quite so thrilled, though, are they? Fine? It would be too easy if it were it the case when it's Stuart. Now, uh, L'Opinion, the pro-business paper, is not so thrilled about no. what it calls this <laughs> unconvincing pact between France and Germany. France is trying to trick Germany, according to L'Opinion, pull the wool over its eyes. Uh, now, according uh, to L'Opinion, Berlin should really not fall into this trap because L'Opinion says that what France is trying to do here is make Berlin pay for the holes in its budget all the while pushing back any threats of sanctions from the EU. It's a poisoned apple, says uh, Le Pignon. <laughs> Don't bite into it. Uh, now, Le Figaro likens France and Germany to an old couple in their uh, editorial <laughs> today. That's right. Now, uh, according to Le Figaro, though, everyone knows who's going wrong in this couple. And it's France. Surprise, surprise. Mm. Remember, Le Figaro is the right-leaning paper, not such a big fan of what the government's doing. Uh, and according to uh, Le Figaro, though, nobody can say this out loud. Nobody can say that France is to blame here, uh, because otherwise uh, we run the risk of running into a very serious Eurozone crisis. Mm. So it doesn't really bode well for the future of Europe. Should we move on to something completely different? Why not? Um, Aujourd'hui en France, focusing today on punishment. Uh, this is as part of education. That's right. Now, this really surprised me. It might come as a surprise for anybody who's not French, mm. even though I am French. It's surprising yeah. for me. Let's take a look at the front page of Aujourd'hui en France. They talk about a little punishment has never hurt anybody. This might seem like an... It doesn't oxy surprise me, actually, having children <laughs> in French schools. Exactly. Well, this is, you know, this is very yeah. culturally specific. You have to keep in mind. So what, what, what are they talking about? Well, according to a poll that Aujourd'hui en France carried out, 84% of people admit that they do punish their children mm. as a form of education. 40% say they don't hesitate to slap or spank uh, their children. Now, you really have to keep in mind that France is one of the rare countries in Europe where corporal punishment for children isn't a punishable offense. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, yeah. if you are cruel to animals here in France, you uh, can, well, you can be in jail for two years and face a hefty financial penalty. Aujourd'hui en France, this might, this might be surprising. They actually are, really applaud the fact that French parents are tough with their children. It's reassuring to know that at home, parents have authority. There are rules and children respect them. And this is the, the cartoon in uh, Aujourd'hui en France, which yeah. I think seems to suggest that children are brats. Anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> but you can see this all, uh, parent right. talking to his child. And he says, go, go to the corner right away. Meanwhile, his kid is saying, but my phone doesn't have reception in the corner, <laughs> dad. But Aujourd'hui en France, as I said, yeah. uh, is very 
please know the parents are tough with their kids. Children need to know who's boss, and they can't just get away with anything, says mm. Aujourd'hui en France. So very culturally specific <laughs> uh, poll today in Aujourd'hui en France. Yeah, don't do it myself, but you do see the fesse, as it's known, which is a thwack across the cheeks, <laughs> shall we say, of not here, down there, every now and again, don't you, Flo? Absolutely. I've, well, anyway, see you all the time. <laughs> Flo Wilbur with the papers on France 24. Coming up, another amazing half-time show from the Ohio State University Marching Band. If you've